in the first chapter of the book Mastering the Art of Success by Andrew Locke, titled Success Leads to Freedom, a conversation takes place between David Wright and Andrew Locke, the creator of the popular show Help My Business Sucks, and an author of five small business marketing books. Andrew Locke is also a sought-after international speaker on topics related to business growth, small business marketing, and web TV. During their discussion, Andrew Locke shares his earliest recollection of feeling successful, which dates back to his school days when he unexpectedly received the top of the year award for business studies. This moment boosted his confidence and ignited his entrepreneurial spirit. The conversation delves into the concept of success and how it varies from person to person. Locke emphasizes that success can take different forms, from financial achievements to personal goals but it doesn't necessarily equate to happiness. He values success as a broad term representing a positive outcome resulting from one's efforts, which allows individuals to live freely and make choices without limitations. Locke also touches on the surprising findings of a study conducted by Harvard University, demonstrating how people tend to compare their success to others, even when presented with illogical choices. The conversation explores the foundations of success with Locke highlighting the importance of a positive belief system and the ability to overcome self-doubt and fear. He stresses that success isn't solely dependent on qualifications and skills but rather on one's belief in their capacity to achieve their goals. Locke shares his favorite success quotes, including one from Dale Carnegie about learning from failures and another from Albert Einstein, emphasizing the importance of being a person of value. In terms of his proudest accomplishment, Locke expresses the satisfaction of being able to provide for his family without traditional employment. He also mentions his commitment to helping small business owners and entrepreneurs through his web TV show, Help My Business Sucks. The discussion underscores the significance of persistence in achieving one's goals. Locke emphasizes that many people give up too soon, and the most significant breakthroughs often happen right after the moments of wanting to quit. Locke offers advice for readers who feel that success has eluded them, encouraging them to recall their past achievements and seek the support of trusted family and friends. To maintain success, Locke highlights the importance of the company one keeps, as the environment and people around us greatly influence our success. Surrounding oneself with positive and successful individuals can help sustain and expand one's achievements. Finally, Locke lists several personal qualities that are essential for success, including passion, self-discipline, a teachable mindset, persistence, humility, and gratitude. In summary, the first chapter of Mastering the Art of Success introduces the reader to Andrew Locke and explores the diverse facets of success, emphasizing the importance of mindset, persistence and the company one keeps in achieving and maintaining success. Locke's insights serve as a valuable foundation for understanding the journey to success.